What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today I will be reviewing I will be reviewing this Piggy Piggy plush. Now this is an unofficial pff, pff, pff. What was that? Oh, I'm gonna go check the door. Who's at the door? Mm. Wait, what? Okay, well I guess I'm not doing that Piggy Piggy review. Okay, I guess I'm reviewing this. Guys, that is right. I now own the official Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Smiling Critters Dog Day. This will be the first official Smiling Critter that I will be reviewing and unboxing. But I will be reviewing the rest of the Smiling Critters as they come in and as I purchase them. Um, so I guess let's just get straight into a review. Now, I do want to say, straight off the bat, this dude is, like, perfect. If, like, you just want a plushie of the Smiling Critters, although them other, like, bootleg ones that I've been reviewing would be, like, you know, they'd do if you just wanted a plush of the Smiling Critters for your kid or something. But if you want to go above and beyond or something, and you... And get this yes perfect like if you just want a plusher of dog day or any of the smiling critters because you can get all of them now if you just want a plusher of them these these the official ones are perfect for that um if you want to spend so much money <laughs> now i guess let's just get straight into review and i guess let's start with the tag now this is the same tag that you get on every single official plush bar on playtime.com playtime co um ages 14 and plus so if, I, so if a three year old child chokes in it they can't see things it says so let's move on to this now the charm is rubber so it might break if you put it under if you like mess around with it a bit too much and cool fact with the unofficial ones that I have over there hold on um these guys their charm not their charm the zipper isn't a real zipper just a oh gosh just a piece of um plastic but this one is actually rubber and you can see there well the charm is rubber and this is a real zipper, and as you can see there, the charm's attached to the zipper, so you can, so it's a real zipper, you can um, open it up like that, obviously you can't fit anything inside. I think with catnaps, little hole, it is a bit bigger, so you could fit like a five pound note or something in there. Um, which is quite cool that although you can't fit pretty much anything in you could put like some coins or something in there probably and the colours I just want to say the colours are really bright and accurate and actually with them unofficial ones the mouth is just flat like that but this one actually has a slight indentation in it so which is actually more accurate accurate to the games. The little has a little button nose instead of an embroidered one, like the unofficial ones. And the eyes are actually rounded, unlike the all of the unofficial ones. I will do like a comparison with Dog Day and the unofficial Dog Day. Um the arms actually are correct colours because with the dog day unofficial one he has really red it's really red that secondary colour um which obviously is not accurate because it's orange and the feet this is quite funny but they're like dangly hold on they have dangly little feet hold on let me switch around the dangly little feet is which I think is 
quite um, funny. Let me just get this guy back into place. I've got Dog Day back in his place. And now let's move on to the head. Now, actually, I haven't messed around with the face or anything to get it into how it is now. This is how he comes straight out of the package. And it's actually quite, you know, and it actually looks like a bunch of the other one. Obviously, they look like the other ones, but the structure looks like how it is in the game. Um, straight off the bat, without having to like finicky, without having, not finicky, without having to like mess around with it or anything. It's pretty cool. Like I said, the rounded nose that can actually reflect. I don't know if you guys can see that too well but it's easy to reflect and yet like i said it there is the indentation in the mouth now with the ears you can it's like a there's like some sort of like little material inside i think that keeps them that that helps them keep their shape now if you look at the back there is a little like fold so that they can go like that know how they are in game but for some reason on mine and every other plush that just doesn't work you'd have to like put something you'd either have to stuff it like cut a little hole in a stitch or something and stuff it or put something behind it to do that i'm not going to cut it open though that if i did that you'd have to shoot me um yeah, it's a real good plush and now I will get the unofficial bootleg and I will do a comparison. So I have the unofficial dog day and yeah. Uh yeah, there's there's quite a few little differences, aren't there? Yeah. Oh god. No god, please don't get me away from this guy. No, he's staying there. Um, anyway, so yeah, quite a few differences. One, like there's the indentation in the mouth is wrong. The like little yellow strip is better on this one because it's not like really clunky here. And yeah, I'll just give a little, yeah, you can see the differences, can't you? So many differences. But anyways, guys, uh, I don't want to go through everyone. And that's it for my Dog Day plush review. This guy will appear in my Smiling Critters plush series as well. There's been a build up in the episodes to this. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.